good, yo? It's your boy Tom back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be going over the NBA 2K21 My Team Season 7 Courtside Report. Now, I haven't read through this, so this is going to be kind of my live reaction to seeing everything on this courtside report. Obviously, it's highlighted by Vince Carter, so I don't know if he's going to be the season reward, but let's hope not. Obviously, by the time you guys watch this video, you already know, but this is going to be my live reaction to it. Pray for a good season four because or season seven because we need a good season seven more than ever. Before I dive into this, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 70,000 subscribers. Okay, it's let's start from up top. It's time to go all out in my team season seven. This new and unique season will allow you to earn your way to level 40 at your own pace with brand new releases, challenges, reward, and so much more. Are you ready to go full throttle in my team? Full throttle, is that this? Is that what the season is? Is that what it's called? Full throttle info. So that's what the season called, it's called full throttle, okay. At only four weeks in length. You're kidding me. The four rings didn't mean LeBron, are you kidding me? Four weeks in length. Season 7 Full Throttle will be the quickest my team season to date. This is a very intense time of year with the NBA regular season ending, the play-in tournament, the start of the NBA playoffs, and of course, the Basketball Hall of Fame ceremonies. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on, and I think that this is going to mean, like, this is the type of content we're going to get. Basketball Hall of Fame, NBA playoffs, play-in tournament, regular season ending. So a lot of this is going to have to do with the content we get. More on all that later, but the shortest season today, how else are we making Season 7 unique? To start, we are releasing 150,000 XP on day one, meaning there is nothing holding you back from earning your way to level 40. Additional XP will be released throughout the season Commemorating moments, accompanying new releases, and getting you closer and closer to our Season 7 Level 40 Dark Matter, Vince Carter. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it because, you know... Yo, hold up! I see a lot of names here that I predicted. Okay, I see this. I, you know what I'm saying? I see this. Accompanying Vince Sanity, we have even more Dark Matter reward cards throughout my team for limited we are featuring the late great Elgin Baylor shout out 2k Elgin Baylor I thought he'd be ascension but that's fine pick up this legend after collecting the four rings one per weekend and a limited earned the grandmama Larry Johnson I thought he was gonna be a, a token reward but hey I'm fine with that I like Larry Johnson as the galaxy open reward Sydney Moncrief in ascension that's more like the ascension reward Bailey Howell and triple with their online I feel like he could be solid. Larry Keenan in the vault. And Jerry Lucas at 1,500 wins. I think I mentioned Jerry Lucas as far as an essential award too, but not bad. I'm excited for what Bailey Howe and Larry Keenan is going to look like. And those are probably the guys I'm most excited about. Dark Matter, Louis Dampier in the exchange alongside Pink Diamond, CP3, and Diamond Mello, I guess. Limited 1,000 card limited release, Bill Walton. Bill Walton, what is Bill Walton gonna do for any? I mean, maybe it'll be like a point guard or something. I, I don't know. They did, that did say reward marker, right? Wait, 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 wait. Let's talk token marker. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. As it will commemorate the newest inductees into the Basketball Hall of Fame starting Saturday, head into the token market for exclusive packs containing Hall of Fame badges. Hold up. Hall of Fame badges are coming to the token market and a few other surprises all week long, keeping with its namesake and for our legend edition cover athlete Kobe Ryan's upcoming induction we're giving my team play players a hall of fame badge every day for eight days straight shout out 2k that's incredible that is incredible a free hall of fame badge for eight days straight that's absolutely insane speaking of the long-awaited spotlight sim will make his return new rewards will include lifetime agendas that are tied to the completion of upcoming challenges okay so that's interesting. New rewards will come lifetime agendas. That's that, that's interesting to me because the only lifetime agendas I have left happens to be in domination. But that's fine. Uh, what will the rewards be? The final basketball cards required to complete the new the collections for the fireball and the holographic ball. Okay, that makes sense. Get ready to experience the fireball for the first time on next gen consoles. And witness the new holographics ball color bending effects in my team. I'm excited for that. Low key. Obviously, for me, I'm not going to be able to get that on my account, but I'm excited for that. 
this is an intense my team season and it's matching the intensity we're seeing in the nba right now with teams preparing for the play-in tournament in the nba playoffs we are launching this season with a new base set current series three this set includes our first ever Galaxy Opal base cards with Steph and Braun, both rated as league leading Galaxy Opals. You pick up the new cards in League Series 3 packs and boxes or the premium releases the rest of the year. I mean, I guess. My thing is this. It's like, current Series 3, none of those cards are going to be usable. So they're hyping up, you know, the Galaxy Opal base cards, but nobody's going to use them anyway. A new season also brings signature challenge. This time, handpick. Going to only T-Mac. T-Mac ch chose his amazing scoring flurry. Okay. Um... Match his stat line, win the game, and earn a diamond shoe and another Hall of Fame badge. That's kind of cool uh, with that locker code. So um, I can't really be too mad about, about this, but here's what I'll say. As far as the rewards are concerned, I'm kind of disappointed. You get Vince Carter. I guess, I mean, he's available day one, but it's like Vince, Vince Carter. We'll see what his stats are like, but that's not a card I'll probably grind for. And then we're heading into Elgin Baylor for limited... Elgin Baylor is a cool card. I might grind for him just because I like Elgin Baylor. Larry Johnson in Unlimited could be solid if they make him right, which I think they should. Sidney Moncrief in Ascension is not exciting. Bailey Owen trip with her online. Larry Keenan in the vault are kind of exciting. Jerry Lucas could be solid at the at the 1,500 uh, single player wins. And then Louis Dampier in the exchange, not expecting much. Um, but yeah, Bill Walton. That's a card that's interesting to me. Because if they make Bill Walton the center, how good can Bill Walton truly be? That's kind of what I'm wondering. But they're going to have to juice him up if he's the thousand, uh, car, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be the thousand token um, dark matter reward market. But no matter what, guys, there's a lot breaking down here within this course I report in my team season seven. A lot coming. The biggest thing that I see is that you're going to be able to get 150,000 XP on day one. You guys realize how many people are gonna just go absolutely insane on day one trying to get the first Dark Matter Vince Carter? I remember when people used to try to get like the first Dark Matter or the first guy, like the first Kobe Bryant last year. I think it was a Galaxy Opal Kobe last year trying to complete that. People are gonna go crazy on XP in day one trying to get Vince Carter. It's gonna be a lot of fun to just see how that transpires. I will say I kind of like the, that the season's only four weeks long. And the reason I like that it's only four weeks long is because we can get through a lot more in four weeks. And when I say get through a lot more, content won't get dry, I don't think, right? We're going to see two triple threat offline players, two triple threat online players. The the the, the grind for the for the 12 and 0 reward, Larry Johnson, you got to get through it quickly. But we're not just going to be sitting here waiting, right? I like the quick seasons. I like what 2K is doing with the full throttle type of my team mode. I think that is going to be most, like more than anything, as valuable as possible um, you know what I'm saying? As far as just keeping the mode active, I really do. Now I was wrong about LeBron James. The four rings probably, I mean, it still could mean LeBron James, but I'm guessing it means four weeks, um, within my team, which it is what it is. I, I, it is what it is. Hopefully we get a LeBron tomorrow. That's my hope more than anything is that we get a good LeBron James tomorrow because obviously the Vince Carter, it is what it is. It's truly, I mean, it's exciting. No doubt about it. I'm, a, I'm excited for Vince Carter to see what his stats look like. Uh, and most of these rewards are cards that maybe be night, may, like might not be the most hype cards. You look at a Larry Johnson, probably not the most hype card. Bailey Howell, Larry Keenan. But I feel like a lot of these cards have potential, especially with Bailey Howell and Larry. Larry Keenan, I, I especially think could be very, very good. We'll just see how good they are. But it just means like, Cards like Danny Ferry, I feel like, are going to hold that value for a little bit more. But this is only the start of it, right? The The reward part of it is only the start of it. The big telltale sign for me is what the content is going to look like tomorrow. That's that's the big telltale sign. Because if content isn't fired tomorrow, as far as packs are concerned, this is only going to take it take the community so far. But only four weeks long, that is something I'm a massive, massive fan on. As far as this XP thing, I'm probably not going to grind for the first Vince. It's going to be intriguing to see how many people truly grind to be the first person to get the Dark Matter Vince Carter. Let me know down below in the comments which of these reward cards are you guys most excited about. Do you guys think that this Bill Walton is just going to be absolutely incredible? Or what's he going to look like as far as the Dark Matter reward market reward? I don't know. Uh, I'm excited, honestly, about the Larry Johnson more than anything. I'm glad they put Elgin Baylor, the late great 
Elgin back in the game as well. And the, the basketball stuff, I mean, if, they, if you collect the basketballs and, and, and are excited about that, that's just another avenue to go down. Spotlight Sims are back. A lot to be excited about in Season 7, guys. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.